uh, would not mind uh, a well done paper like this one. Uh, probably to answer those questions if you are not in a position to answer now, unless you have a quick one as we close. Uh, thank you very much, Chair, yeah, and uh, thank you very much, uh, committee members. I think these are very exciting uh, questions. And uh, I want to say one is that uh, yes, we can do uh, impact, and uh, we have done actually a very good uh, analysis on the implications uh, if uh, all the uh, proposals that have been uh, uh, given by the government want to be implemented. But I want to say that uh, recently we have uh, launched, uh, we have launched our report, the Kenya Economic Report, that was looking at the cost of living. And one of the key things that you'll notice from it, and that's why we are focusing a lot on the, on the food, uh, is that uh, food actually uh, taking over 50% of the, of the income, it makes it uh, the first, second, and third priority that we should get into. Uh, uh, transport costs, especially for um, uh, those who are using matatus and the like, it also takes uh, almost 10% for transport. And it is uh, among, I think, the second in terms, of the, in terms of contribution to the cost of living for, for Kenyans. So when we are able to reduce, actually, the cost uh, for fuel, it means that you can reduce the cost for transport. It means that you can reduce the cost for distribution of foods, and therefore you can have an implication on, on the prices for food. Now, it's one thing to have food supply in the market, but it's another to say that uh, I can access it. I may not access it because it's not affordable, but can I also be uh, empowered to actually access it? And I can only access it if my income uh, is, uh, is also taken care of, uh, uh, which means that uh, I increase productivity for micro and small enterprises, for the farmers, they can reap higher and they can increase their, their incomes. Yeah? But at the same time, you say that you may not actually get that immediately. You may also find that uh, there are those who are still struggling 